Please hold. I need the ladies on the floor. I love how it's been essentially a full ass year, ass year, since we started working on the studio and it's like not done. Today we're gonna be working on building out a charge wall for the studio. Almost a year ago, February 10th, I posted this photo on Instagram. And that is a photo of our charge wall, which was in our old filming room. Remember this room? So that charge wall is in that room. And basically it is set up for like charging every camera battery, drone batteries, it holds the drone. The main charge wall will continue to be in that room. However, when we're filming in the basement, oftentimes we need to charge things. I wanna have an A7S III battery down here and I wanna have a couple of A6400 batteries down here just to have when we're filming, especially the podcast if something dies. And also things like the Aperture M9 to be able to charge that for the podcast and then have like a phone charging station. So that's why I have this big ass box of shit here today. One of my regrets from that charge wall is not actually making a video about it. I did make an Instagram story highlight and a bunch of you guys reached out asking if there was a video about it or how we made it. So today I'm gonna walk you guys through how I did that charge wall. We're gonna make a new charge wall, but it's essentially it's the same setup. These are all the things I'm going to attach to those metal pegboards that I got at Lowe's. If you guys want a full list of everything that I'm using on this charge wall, everything, is linked on our blog in the description box so you can check it out. Black zip ties, this is how we're going to be attaching stuff to those pegboards. We got these mesh um, office organizers. I got these at Target. So I got this kind of like letter one, which is really good for like slipping in battery packs or like large batteries that connect via a cable. These are really great just to kind of, oh my God, the dust. Clearly I've had this here for a while. Um, these are really great for holding like drones or GoPros or headphones or mics when they're plugged in charging. They can kind of just sit in there. Command strips, key, this is an empty box. Exacto knife, cable management. This is like a USB hub. Okay, we have a power bar. Obviously, if you're gonna be powering stuff, you need to have power. If this was your main charge wall, I would definitely do like a full power bar. I ordered an extra and a bunch of Velcro wrappy zippy tie things. Let's get started. In this layout, I'm going horizontally on top of this Ikea chest, which I've used chest shelving unit. I'm attaching all of this stuff with zip ties before I hang these on the wall. Once they're on the wall, they're screwed to the wall. You can't really get to the backs of them. So I'm gonna roughly lay this out. Remove the stickers, remove your layout on your charge wall is gonna be completely dependent on what you're using it for and what you're putting on it. So I'm just gonna open all of the shit that I have. This thing is probably one of my favorites because say if this is your like GoPro battery charger or it's like your power brick that you bring around, you can basically slide it in one of these slots and just have it like plugged in and charging and it kind of holds it like a shelf. So I like it when the plug is like along the side because whatever wires are running off of other stuff on the wall that you can kind of tuck it in behind and then they can kind of like bloop, like come up over the side. I think we might have our layout here. I'm gonna tape this where I want these to be so I don't zip ties. Basically, I'm just feeding it up through the hole and through the back of the mesh. Loosely place that there. Why do I have Postman Pat stuck in my head? You'll trim down the zip tie tails after. Okay, so these are on. I didn't cover up any of the mounting holes, but we can still add more stuff too. Like especially stuff that's like magnetic that could go on. For the USB hub, I'm gonna put it between holes and we're gonna use, oh, my hat's fucked up. All right, so these are a bit fat, but we'll try these. So I'm gonna want the plug to come up the top and these to be flying down the bottom. And what I'll do is on the back, I'll just attach these like this. And now you can remove this later if you want to. There. The idea here is to have all types of cables hanging out of this thing. So there's never a question when you're going to charge something. It's not like, you're not like, oh wait, I don't have this one really specific cable that I need for this like dumb thing. We'll get going on the meat of it once we get this thing onto the wall. All right, cool, 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 cool. Later, we'll use the Velcro straps to attach these. Okay, let's get this on the wall. Fight. This is me in like a fighting game. So I was a character in Mortal Kombat. Is that the face you do? Yes. Hey, do I have any of my teeth? 
We had chim- yes, you do. We had chimichurri for dinner. Oh I didn't check. Oh my god, Chris. Uh, this is a project that you have already done. She did this a year ago, totally on a whim, totally made it up, didn't like make a video about it, put a photo on Instagram. People went crazy over it. Oh, is the video tutorial coming out for this? And you're like, mm, nope. We have the basement studio now, as you are well aware. We'll link to some of those videos up here. Without further ado, we're going to make the charge wall 2.0. Not, not to like smile because I don't want to show my green teeth. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, it shouldn't go too high. I wonder if we're the only people in the world to combine a PLS laser with a ProMaster tripod. Oh, ah, my eyes! Don't mess with the laser, you get burned. You want to do it centered on the table? Or? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Should be to the left. Yeah. So... That looks good, I think. Mark in the holes! Here's a trick I learned the other day. Check this out. Post-it notes, drill hole. Shout out to Go Clean Co for this hack. Fold your post-it note. Then you fold the corners just so it don't open up. Stick it right below where you're drilling. It's like a little pocket. And it catches all your dust. So with that matte black wall, because it's a matte paint, every time you touch it, it gets prints on it and it looks like shit. So if you're using the same paint I'm using, which is the Regal Select, Matte finish from Benjamin Moore, which is wipeable. Not all matte paints are. You can take a clean, damp sponge that doesn't have any soap, brand new damp sponge, like kitchen sponge, and just kind of wipe in one direction off the fingerprints and they come off. So I'm just gonna use 3M Velcro strips to attach these. And then I'm gonna do cable management on everything. So we're gonna just, we're gonna B-roll it. Montage, whatever you call it. <laughs> So the key here is hiding all of these feeder cables down behind this. There's nothing worse. I mean, you can see them all bubbling out or hanging down the back. We want it as clean as possible. Well, I'll give you a quick tour of it. There's still room for extra shit. A place to hang your headphones while they're charging. These just are great storage for like mics that when these have to be plugged in and charged, just mm -hmm. to stick them in here and just plug them in. This has one, two, three, four, five, six USB ports on it. So at any given time, this could be charging this, these phones, anything can be like, you know, layered up in here. There are cables in here that can come out and be plugged into this. All the cables are are fed down behind the pegboard and just tucked in. So they're just kind of like jammed in there. And I just use these little cable management tabs just to keep the wires from pulling out. So a small extension cord, or just in case we need it, we can see it, we know it's there. This is the Aperture ALM9. It's kind of cool if they can magnet on here. I'd like to have a couple more of those. That's it. Charge wall, done. Matte black, a few white accents, a handful of batteries down here to swap them out so we don't have to be running up and down over the stairs when we're recording podcasts and stuff. There you go. Great job. Thanks. Good job Nice to you. addition to the studio. Yeah, a little addition to the studio. So there's still a couple of things left to do. Should we end it here? We're going to end it. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this charge wall video. Regret not doing it last year, but here we are. And we have two charge walls under our belt. If you want to check out our first one, it's linked in the highlights of our Instagram story. But yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post videos. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, by the way, as I mentioned, links for everything used here, blog post, description box. Once again, just you're Plus just, you're three just saying eights. numbers. 19 and a half plus 316. Is that something in your teeth? Probably. F you. <laughs>